So today we're going to be going over my everyday carry and what's in my tech bag. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now the main and the most important part of this everyday carry is the actual bag itself. So this is a Peak Design sling bag. This bag right here is pretty small, compact and fits my minimalistic style. On that actual tech bag, it's the Peak Design capture clip. So of course you can go ahead and mount the actual Sony camera, whatever camera you have onto that bag and you can go have a hands-free experience. Now aside from the actual bag itself, there's some key components to making this setup work, right? And for that, you can never go wrong with extra batteries. Along with those batteries, you can go wrong with having extra SD cards as well. This one in particular is a Sony CF Express Type A card. This one, of course, is 160 um, gigabytes. So you can go ahead and shoot for a pretty long time on these. Now, along with those, you can never go wrong with some extra windscreen. So I'm using the DJI wireless microphones. And with that microphone set, it comes along with two windscreens, two mics, as well as a transmitter. So this is for those mics. And speaking of the DJI microphone, this bad boy can also fit in that backpack. So while all those transmitters and microphones are in the case, they also charge it. So you can get a ton of views out of this. Now along with the microphones, we have the Shure MLV Lav Mic. So that level air mic is the one I'm using right now. That's also in the tech bag. So whenever I need to go ahead and mic up real quick to get some clean audio, this is my go-to. And of course, you can't forget my baby right here. This is, of course, the ND filter. This one right here is a variable ND filter. You can go ahead and control the brightness when you're outside in any overexposed areas, right? So if you're outside shooting, creating content, I think it's mandatory that you get a variable ND filter or a LD filter to make sure you guys don't get a ton of overexposed shots. To me, that's the best. Now, I do need a case for, for um, the LD filters, like a nice little steep looking case. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. And also, before I forget, everything I'm going over in this video right now is gonna be down, linked in the description, so make sure you guys go ahead, check it out. I do get a kit back if you guys use those links. Now, of course, the creme de la creme. Now we have the Sony camera remote. So this remote is so versatile. I use it every time I'm shooting content, like right now, I can go ahead stop the recording, start the recording. I can take a photo. Everything is really easy. This is, I think, one of the most used equipment I have in my entire camera setup, as well as in my everyday use of creating content. Now, I think that's pretty much it for all of the equipment that I have in my particular sling bag. It's very minimalistic. It's meant to get outside, shoot some content without having all the extra gear where you don't. Now let's go ahead and jump back into the actual backpack itself. So in the main compartment of the backpack, you'll be able to house the divider in there if you like, or the full size of a camera. I brought the G Master 16 to 35 millimeter lens on my Sony a 7 IV camera. So that alone can fill up the entire space inside of the main compartment. And it can also put the actual casing for the DJI wireless microphone either on top of it if I want. Now, what I would do or what I've done is use the Shure MLV case. I will put it on the lens so it can create some cushion. So the actual case of the DJI microphone case doesn't rattle against the actual lens. So that's how I put that in the main compartment. Now, if you look further in the main compartment, you'll see a zipper side right there and you have a couple pouches in the back. So those pouches I will use to stuff the extra battery, the SD card, or even the actual windscreens. So that part is, is pretty convenient. Alongside that, the front portion, the front zipper area of the backpack, that's where we house the ND filter as well as the Sony camera remote. So again, this setup is just for the run and gun, minimalistic style that I'm going for. It's worked for me so far. I would like to upgrade to an actual bigger backpack so I can go ahead and utilize that when I'm traveling. I think that will level up my content creation experience as well as my productivity. But more, more on that whenever I do upgrade to a larger backpack. So if you made it this far in the video, let me know what you think. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like and a comment. The link down in the description is gonna contain all the equipment that I talked about today. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can maximize the space or the productivity of this backpack, let me know. But aside from that, I feel like saying guys, peace.